some interaction with you on a something in the emerging scenario. In my career I have not worked over viruses but I have read, I have listened to you, listened to many of my distinguished colleagues all through my career. But you know, if you look at the history of medical virology and also the clinical virology or the you see the public health virology, whichever terms you give. India has been in the forefront for long years. And that was a parallel to the efforts which were going on globally. But never let us see though because the specialty was such in which only the prevention mattered, we didn't have much to do. Knowing that also if you look at it or reflect at, many things happen coincidentally. The institution was created in Pune, then Hopkins playing his great role, many other institutions across the U.S. playing great role. Many senior industrious people who are no more with us, they also played a significant role. But if you look at it, it's a patchy effort actually. Few things very coincidental, you know, which when you are hit something and they become accidents and accidents become the history actually. When I moved into this new chair, soon after that, for the nine years, the sudden this H1N1 had come. When the H1N1 broke out, we had a new government. And walking with the new minister from his residence to his outer gate and then in the office, he started asking questions, you know, which and normally a very astute epidemiologist should ask. Because being an astute politician and a person who is a management a manager person, he had his questions. How many people, how many places, how many laboratories, how many people, how many people are ready, what to do next? And you know, then sitting in front of him, you started feeling that this is a country which is dependent upon one or two institutions. Our NICED at that time, our NIB at that time, they have worked hard over the years actually. There are prestigious departments of virology in Nimans, there are other places too. What, where we are at the moment? Do we have a capability? Do we have the people? Do we have the structure ready for it? I think the answer is that no, it was there actually. Two, two labs, how many people, how many places they can handle actually? So we are not ready for it. Then you know, Another question started coming, Japanese encephalitis, same time. He said, asked another question, very pertinent question. He said, before the NIV moved to Gorakhpur, what was the situation and what happened afterwards? He wanted to see how impact of our, what we are doing. Answer is again, this man, no, actually. They are doing great job. Sanjay Gandhi doing a great job, but people are also dying with a great speed. So means no impact. Then you know you start as a professional, you start facing a type of a pessimism in you that well we have not planned enough, we have not planned adequately well. 